Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Anniversary. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'd like to start this episode off by giving a shout out to Derek Floyd, who informed me that Cortana is named after Kurtana, the Sword of Mercy, one of the crown jewels of the United Kingdom. This was apparently Bungie continuing a theme they established in Marathon, their first set of shooters, where a significant AI character was named Durandal, after Roland's sword, Durandal, from uh, French folklore. So that's very interesting to me. They're spelled differently. I don't know if they are pronounced differently. Maybe they're both Durandal. <laughs> Pretty sure the one from Marathon is pronounced that way, but I've never actually played Marathon because it was uh, a Mac-focused game, so I couldn't tell you for sure. Yeah, they were basically... Uh, Marathon is to uh, Macintoshes as Doom was to PC. That was my understanding of it. Shit. Okay, people, we got company coming. Let's set the table. Engage enemy forces on site. It'll be easier to hold them off from inside the structure. Can you get inside? Negative. They're closing in too fast. Negative. Oh, they're all dead, aren't they? You gotta find the cartographer. We'll keep them busy as long as we can. All right, I've already found the terminal, so let's stop fucking around. We'll be in a tight spot if we don't get out of here before additional reinforcements arrive. Let's find that map. What is all this stuff, anyway? This has to be... Th th this looks like a, a, a device, a machine. But I have no idea what any of it does. Still beeping and humming away after a thousand years of not being maintained. Except by anyone but a uh, monitor who may or may not be badly malfunctioning. The AI that can get bored are, uh, not a great combination of things. I'm just running in circles now. Fuck, where am I going? Am I trying to, supposed to walk on this thing? Is that what it is? No. All right, I came in. When I came down the stairs, I had a feeling I was going the wrong way. Here we go. Didn't see the door. I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch you. Oh no, I've killed your friend! When, incidentally, when he says, die devil, he is not speaking metaphorically, because remember, religious extremists. They believe that the existence of the human species is an affront to their gods. I didn't get all of them, did I? No one chased after me there. I just heard a guy wake another guy up. I didn't know they could do that specifically. I knew they woke up if you caused a commotion in their vicinity. I didn't know they could wake each other up. We're both learning things about this game. Another. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Hit me! Hit me! Thank you! Nice. Huh. Well, I've just had a thought what that might be for, but, uh... I don't know if we're under one of those facilities that shoots the energy pulses into the sky. So oh, oh, oh. oh, I hate those things. What am I doing? There we go. I can do that on the run without any recoil, incidentally. That's kind of nuts. Well, not much recoil. Also, when I saw those four dots on it, for one moment there, my brain interpreted them as, uh, purple dice. I cannot explain this. Oh, wait, no, that's probably the way out, because that was the thing back there. 
Yeah, here we are. The that hollow panel should activate the map. Map of Halo. One big ring, but where is the section we need to get to? Let's find out. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant installation. Cortana to Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. Oh, that the one. may be out of range or having equipment problems. Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact, and then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Affirmative. Full hammer out. I believe that uh, Fellhammer's personality is a deliberate reference to, uh, I don't know if you know if she had a name, the dropship pilot from uh, Aliens. Popular uh, touchstone for uh, science fiction. We also did an homage to that dropship pilot in StarCraft. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I read that uh, Sergeant Johnson is a nod to uh, the uh, the ooh. ooh. I was not expecting the licks. Block this. Hit my mic. When I'm gonna scratch my nose. Hmm. Now ah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! I found a loop! Here we go. Oh, I don't think he enjoyed that very much. Not nearly as much as I did, certainly. They do like that sort of animation. They just sort of flop bonelessly to the ground because you've shot them in the face. Well, if I did find that sword guy, uh... I didn't notice. Perhaps he walked off one of these cliffs. I guess I know which kind of ammo this is, then. Oh, and it was a different color in the past. That's not confusing at all. Okay, off I go, then. Uh, a green door, yes. Back to the surface. Ah, oh, fuck, he saw me. He didn't. Well, now he did. Ah, one of two sides I picked, I lost. Count. 
wonder if I can reach that. Yeah. Halo is an extremely good franchise for fucking around. I wonder if it's because the physics are so floaty. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were dead. Just punch him in the back so hard that he dies. Oh, shit! Oh, my organs. Okay, well played. I'm not even mad. I don't know why I need to reload that. I didn't actually fire a rocket there. Yeah, da da. Where am I going? If I fire as soon as I see that guy, maybe I can take him out before he closes. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, good! It didn't kill him! Wow, he took like half a clip of bullets, uh, after taking a rocket. I don't like these gold guys. That isn't even gold anymore. Yeah, I thought the headdress is more elaborate than that, but, you know. Still pretty cool looking. Oh, I can't reload. Fair. I am traditionally the kind of guy who saves everything for the rainy day that never comes, so... Chief and I are topside, requesting pickup. Ah, that's a problem. Roger, on my way. My jeep is gone. Ah, fuck! Tell you what, both of you can go to hell. Ah! How about literally anything? There we go. That's pretty much the same weapon as the other one I'm carrying, so here's this. This is both, you know, rapid fire. Oh, hey! That's a much better sight. Ahem. <clears throat> Dignity. Uh, I think there's a jeep with some guys in it on the other side of the island. I don't remember where I left them. I thought it was out here, but whatever. Oh, yeah! Hey, guys! Oh, no. You've killed my mans! Well, I've avenged their deaths. Oh, they must have been slaughtered when the, uh, the dropship came by. Ah! Rest in peace, Marine. I always did like those eyepieces they have. I guess that's how the, uh, normal soldiers get a HUD, since they don't have a visor. But yeah, rest in peace, you guys. You were good allies. You made it through most of the level. Oh. Let's get moving. Bowhammer, here are coordinates and a flight plan I've worked on. Uh, Cortana, these coordinates are underground. The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan. And my analysis shows that Halo is honeycombed with deep tunnels, which circle the whole ring. I hope your analysis is on the honeycomb. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> I didn't realize that was actually a place we had gone via the lid to this hole here. So that's what that was. So I guess that wasn't a building on the top, that was the mechanism that opens the door. Assault on the control room. Here we are. Chief and unlocked, where am I? And the silent cartographer. I would have been your daddy. Thanks, Fohammer. Couldn't have done it without you. Very literally. 
It's very strange to me that you can actually get a glimpse of Fohammer the person in this game. Because in the original Halo, uh, the cockpits are uh, opaque. But I wanted to watch my friend fly away. It's really cool. Oh, you sons of bitches. Fine! Oh, you don't like that, do you? Now that you're in alien hell, you can think about the mistakes you've made. Wow, they just ran right past this gun. I'm just saying. Not your wisest moment. Oh, there were three of you! So the name of this level, I'm just going to tell you. Uh... Jesus. It's a line- a combat line that Sergeant Johnson may or may not say on any given playthrough. He says... I would have been your daddy, but the dog beat me over the fence. <laughs> That's so terrible. I'm looking over here because I started over there, and I'm very clearly meant to go there, so I thought maybe there was a terminal here. But boy, I just like, and, you know, I just like going over here, and it's like, oh yeah, you definitely weren't expect, you know, they didn't have anything shiny if you look at over here. Oh fuck, is that water? Are we under the ocean right now? Now, funny, it had that same mist effect when I was driving through the sea. I'm pretty sure that's non-canon, incidentally. I think 500 years in the future, all uh, wheeled vehicles have electrical engines, but, uh... Or electrical engines that roar, but, you know. Oh, right, that's not how that worked. I always liked those. It's, a uh, cover. That's all it is. Starts off red, goes back to blue. Neat! I like that they're auto-replenishing, too. Because it means both that you can get the drop on some asshole you can clearly see on the other side of the thing by doing something like this. But, uh, it also means that by the time you get over there, maybe it will have respawned like that, and you can take advantage of it. Although, again, the Covenant are the ones using energy weapons most often, so it probably won't last very long for you. I brought up the name of the level and specifically explained it because it actually becomes a sort of meme later in the franchise. Not the line itself, but there are... Mutators you can add when you play the game called Skulls. You might have seen the options menu for that when I started. Uh, yeah, here it'll note that I don't have any of the skulls activated. And these have effects like the Blind Skull, which disappears your HUD. Or the, uh... Oh, what was it called? The Anger Skull, which makes your enemies fire and throw grenades more often. Or no, that was just fire more often. Yeah, that makes them much more aggressive. Uh, the Catch Skull is the one that makes them throw more grenades, incidentally. But, uh... Not in this one, but in future ones, there's a skull called I-W-H-B-Y-D. I would have been your daddy. And uh, when that skull is active, it causes very silly alterations to the dialogue in extremely specific places. And it causes, like, weird idle dialogue to pop up. Hi. Bye. Just like that, he was gone. Like, I know it seems kind of primitive by modern standards, but... The doors of the moving parts, uh, even as simple as they were in the original graphics scheme, were just so cool back in the day. Oh no, I'm actually over here! 
No, seriously, I'm basically the boogeyman to these guys. Ah, fuck! Oh, yes, yeah, so you can break the glass. I forgot about that. Well, then, in that case... Vandalism! I like that it was like we both just stared at each other for a second, and we were both surpri so surprised by each other's presence. Like, for a moment there, we didn't know what to do. No, I'm not going to shoot that. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, and where is that grunt? Look, enemy, more. Okay, so they're not perfect with English. You'd think it would be like blasphemy or something. The here is stronger than I anticipated. They seem to have the entire region secured. Oh, good. Fuck. Yeah, you know, I would have thought that it would be blasphemy to speak a human language, but I guess the idea is that since the grunts are also the, uh, if you're lucky enough to get pulled off of suicide duty and put onto code breaking duty, they probably want you to uh, be as fluent in the language as possible. Even if it is a distasteful heretic language. Although I guess we're not heretics, given that we were never followers of the religion. That would make us anathema. Yes. <laughs> oh, I like the, the chunks of broken glass they leave in the frame now. That's nice. You know, I... For 20 years, I've been wondering how the hell the grunts are able to sniff through these masks. I would have thought the whole point was that they were airtight. You know what's really creepy is that they actually model the mouths behind that. Um... I don't know. People who know more about me than engineering, is there a way to design something that pumps a vital gas into your lungs that would allow you to smell the area around you? Does it pull olfactory senses in through the mask for, y for your convenience? Who knows? Oh, I guess they always did have the, uh, the, the sharp points in their elbows. Huh. I thought the bumpiness is a retcon. Well, in any event, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you next time with Let's Play Halo Anniversary when you continue assaulting the control room. Later.